Once I got out of school, I decided that I wanted to become very involved as a volunteer within the professional organizations. So I first started uh, volunteering with the Kansas Health Information Management Association, which is our state association. And while there, I, I was on the board of directors, I was a delegate, I was actually the president of the association, and I was a director of the association. I'm also very active on the national scope. Uh, for three years, I was part of the committee and actually chair of the committee that helped develop the curriculum for baccalaureate programs. And currently, I'm a, a commissioner and the past chair of KHIM, which is a commission that actually accredits HIM professional programs so that when students graduate from those programs, they can sit for the national exam, which is the Registered Health Information Administrator credential. And that is our goal at St. Mary's is to make sure that when our graduate, when our students do graduate, that they can sit for that higher exam and earn that credential, which is a gateway to so many different uh, careers and positions within HIM departments. I love to take the raw data of all the data that's collected and actually look at on how we can improve patient outcomes. It's one thing to collect data. It's another thing to actually use the data. Uh, especially when you're trending data, you're looking at uh, how long do patients like, for example, with pneumonia stay in the hospital. Theoretically, they're only supposed to stay four days once they come through the ER. But in some cases, some hospitals, they may be there six, seven, eight days. And so what an HIM person can do is look at the data and look at the rationale. Why are, they, why are patients staying in the hospitals so much longer than they should? And this is what's fascinating with me, looking at the causation of what's going on behind the data. HIM is just a perfect uh, career field, uh, especially for those who want to go into healthcare but really don't want to touch a patient. And we get a lot of people who are like that. They want to go into the business side. I think HIM is just a wonderful career for people to go into for long-term career stability, for excellent salaries and benefits, and for challenge, intellectual challenges so that you're not doing the same job day after day after day. There's a wonderful career advancement within the health information management. Healthcare is constantly changing. It's, it's dynamic. Uh, every Congress that seems to take, uh, uh, start saying in, in D.C. always wants to change healthcare. The big emphasis on, on healthcare now is the cost of healthcare. And with that comes changes in regulation, changes in reimbursements, and that's everything that HIM does. So anytime Washington, D.C. decides to alter how healthcare is provided, that directly impacts on what we do. In our field, it's not the same job day after day after day. It, it's hard to describe what a typical day is in health information management because things are always changing. And there's always seems to be crises that are taking place that HIM has to step in and, and, have a, um, and, and cooperate to resolve those issues.